What's up guys, the Potato Brothers here, aka also known as Mr. Specialist and Aryan. As you know, we're having a series where we get an MOEB with every assault rifle, submachine gun, light machine gun, and we also decided to add the shotguns. Well, guns we have done so far are the ACR, SCAR-L, M16, AS50, and the USS. There will be links in the description for the other mobs, so be sure to check those out as well. And today's mob is with the MP7, and as you all know, the MP7 is so overpowered that we could easily get a two minute mob with it. But yeah, a two minute mob is just way too short to commentate about, so we decided to both get an MOEB with the MP7 uh, around two minutes. So, you will be seeing an MP7 mob by me, Mr. Specialist, and one by Aryan today in the same vid. Uh, we're gonna start with my MP7 mob. It is an old MOEB and you guys might have seen it, not all of you, because I already uploaded this once on my channel, but it didn't have so many for you, so I decided to use it for the Potato Brothers. Uh, I was playing Groundwork Team Deathmatch on Arcadum, solo, without a team, because I, yeah, I don't know why, but I just prefer to play solo. When I play in a team, I'm less concentrated, and when I just play solo, I'm just more like rushing, 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 don't look back, don't stop, don't hesitate, just go. I was using SAP before the MP7 with Silencer Extended Mag, the MP9 Silence, C4 as my lethal equipment, the C4, the Portable Spawn Indicator Radar, that's how I call it because you always need to throw it between two spawns so you know where they're gonna be spawning, when and where. Sorry for this camping little moment, had no clue where they were spawning right now so I needed to take cover and just wait until I had a clue where they were spawning at. As my basic perks, I was using Slide of Hand, Hardline and Stalker. As my specialist perks, I was using Assassin, Quick Draw and Scrivenger. And yeah, that's about it. And I want to give you guys some tips. If you want to get a fast map, you always need to outsmart enemies and use your cover to your advantage. As you see here, a Predator comes in and I take cover. Uh, yeah, and as you can see here, a guy shoots me with a Striker. One bullet and I would have been killed. I run around the corner and pre-fire. Take back cover, reload and wait for more enemies, jump upon here and take out this guy, he didn't even see me. Take out this guy, reload and wait because they're spawning there and I know that I need to shoot there to kill them. And I get a nice little quad feed while I call in my Moab. And yeah, that's about my two minute Moab. You will be seeing a nice little, little feed because of the Moab. Always try to jump in the air and knife when the hit marker comes up. It's like you knife for the Moab. And that was my Moab. So, Aryan, tell us something about your MOE. Alright, what's going on guys? Aryan here. But first of all, don't forget to, uh, to subscribe to the both of us. There will be a potato popping up in the right corner of the screen right now. That is for Mr. Specialist. And there will be a potato popping up in the left corner right now. That is for my channel. So, I was playing 6 vs 6 Domination on Sea Town as usual. And I was playing with the MP7 Silencer and Extended Mags. I was using the MP9 silencer as my secondary and I used my tactical grenades uh, concussion and I used the C4. So I started out with scavenger, hardline and steady aim and my specialist perks were assassin, slate of hand and quick draw. And this gameplay it is a few months old and in my opinion it's really lucky because I actually have red screen for a long period. But of course you need luck to get such gameplay. And this was actually one of the first times I changed my button layout to tactical. Uh, and basically what that means is you can drop shot easier. And I did a l it a lot in this gameplay and I believed it saved me a few times. So basically what I tried to do in this gameplay is try to full rush. My teammates were rushing as well and they were capping flags like maniacs. So I could stay in a spawn and I could spawn trap the hell out of uh, those enemies and I was continuously in the spawn and I'm incredibly lucky in a few moments. And uh, yeah, what I basically try to do is drop shot as much as possible because if you want to survive in tough situations with a lot of enemies, you really need to drop shot because if you're not, you're just an easy target because everyone will aim up high and if you if you're drop shotting the enemy aim is off and they just don't know where to shoot so most of the time you will have an advantage there, uh, advantage there. so um, yeah uh, I think that's about it so we hope you enjoyed this just as much as we did making it don't forget to comment like a favorite and subscribe my name is Mr. Specialist and his name is
Are y'all. And we say, peace, peace out. out.